Throughout history, many discoveries have shocked humanity. Some of them were explained, and some are still historical mysteries. Lost civilization, a computer that's thousands of years old, a witch story, mysterious guidestones, and more. Grab a paper and a pencil and try solving those mysterious if you can. United States, the Georgia Guidestones. In 1979, a man named R.C. Christian approached a local granite company in Georgia on behalf of a small group of loyal Americans, asked the company to manufacture the mysterious guidestones. It was six granite slabs, 19 feet, three inches tall, and weighing almost 250,000 pounds. It was not released how much it cost, but for sure, more 100,000 USD, which is approximately 400,000 USD in our current time. But what was the purpose of those stone? Why would someone pay that amount of cash for six granite slabs? They wanted to deliver a message for the upcoming generations. That's why R.C. Christian told the granite company that the slaps should be capable of withstanding catastrophic events like nuclear bombing. What was the message? It was a set of 10 guidelines engraved on the stones. Most of the guidelines were good things, like exploring matters related to spirituality or creating a global government and how it should be run. But the guideline that was the most controversial was the first one which said, maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. All the guidelines were written in eight different languages, English, Russian, Spanish, Hindi, Arabic, Chinese, Swahili, and Hebrew. Theories came out about it. People were calling it the Ten Commandments of the Antichrist, or the Satanic Monument. A conspiracy theorist proposes that the person who financed the Georgia Guidestones, using the pseudonym R.C. Christian, who later discovered that there was no person with that name, might have intended to allude to Rose Cross Christian, potentially connecting this to Christian Rosenkreutz, the founder of the Rosicrucian Order. Throughout the years, there were demands to destroy the Guidestones, they were damaged by spray and paint a couple of times till 2022, where the stones were bombed. Only one guidestone out of the four main guidestones was damaged, but the city had to remove it due to safety regulations. Till that day, no one discovered Christian's real identity or who was after it. United Kingdom, Mother Shipton's Cave, and the Petrifying Well. Her name graces pubs and her effigy and statues are used by fortune tellers. A moth is named after her because her face is imaged in the moth's wings. Who is that woman? Long time ago, in 1488, during a violent thunderstorm, the 15 years old girl Agatha gave birth in a cave. Agatha was dragged before the local magistrate, but she would not reveal who the father was. With no family and no friends to support her, Agatha raised her daughter Ursula in the cave on her own for two years before the Abbot of Beverly took pity on them and a local family took Ursula in. Agatha was taken to a nunnery far away where she died some years later. She never saw her daughter again. Ursula grew up around Knaresborough. She was a strange child, both in looks and in nature. Her nose was large and crooked, her back bent and her legs twisted, just like a witch. She was taunted and teased by the local people and so in time she learnt she was best off on her own. She spent most of her days around the cave where she was born. There she studied the forest, the flowers and herbs and made remedies and potions with them. When she was 24, she met a young man by the name of Tobias Shipton. He was a carpenter from the city of York. Tobias died a few years later before they had any children, but Ursula kept his name Shipton. The mother part followed later when she was an old woman. Mother Shipton was said to be a witch and an oracle, predicting doomsday horrors and disasters that were to befall the Tudor reign, with each morbid forecast recited in prose. Mother Shipton passed away in 1561, aged 73. But her legacy is still alive, a well located around her cave, a petrifying well. If you leave anything by the well, it will be a matter of time before the thing you left turn into stone. Dozens of items gained the stony structure, giving a weird and creepy look. Just imagine a stony teddy bear or a pair of shoes. That made the cave and the well a destination for tourists since the 1600s. However, scientifically, it was explained to be it is an entirely natural phenomenon and due to a process of evaporation and deposition in waters with an unusually high mineral content. 
Italy. The Voynich Manuscript. Hidden deep within Yale University's Beinecke Rare Book and Manuscript Library lies a puzzling relic, the Voynich Manuscript. This 240-page book, dating back to around 1420, is a mesmerizing fusion of art and writing, seemingly plucked from the world of dreams. Its pages feature real and imaginary plants, floating castles, bathing women, astrology diagrams, zodiac rings, and celestial bodies with human faces. Measuring 24 by 16 centimeters, it's one of history's greatest mysteries because no one can read it. The story of the Voynich Manuscript began in 1912, when Wilfred Voynich, a Polish bookseller, stumbled upon it in an Italian Jesuit college. Questions consumed him. Who made this? Where? Why? What do the strange words and illustrations mean? Voynich bought it from a priest, took it to the United States, and ignited over a century of investigation. Cryptologists have studied the writing and noticed it behaves like a real language, but one no one knows. Instead of random letters, there are patterns, suggesting it has a purpose. Characters vary in style, height, and origin. The manuscript seems written by different people, with another adding the pictures. Over the years, three main theories emerged. Some think it's written in code on purpose. Others say it's an elaborate hoax. The third theory is it's a known language with an unknown script, like the Rongorongo script on Easter Island. Despite the mystery, speculations abound. From an encyclopedia of forgotten knowledge to connections with historical figures, witches, or even Martians. Recent findings, like carbon dating and tracing its history to Holy Roman Emperor Rudolf II, provided clues. Some words have been tentatively identified. Still, the code remains unbroken, and the manuscript's secrets stay hidden. What's the truth behind its enigmatic text and fantastical illustrations? A dream journal? Gibberish? Or a repository of lost knowledge? The Voynich manuscript remains an unsolved riddle, calling scholars and enthusiasts to decipher its mysterious story. Brazil, the Amazon Stonehenge. Deep within the Amazon rainforest, a hidden wonder has emerged the Amazon Stonehenge. This mysterious site, nestled in the jungle's heart, challenges what we know about ancient Amazonian civilizations. Amidst the lush rainforest, a complex of massive stone structures forms a circular pattern, much like the famous Stonehenge in the UK. They stand as a testament to an unknown civilization's incredible engineering skills, raising questions about the capabilities of indigenous people in this remote region. Who built these stone monoliths, and why? Researchers from around the world are drawn to this enigma. Early studies suggest it's thousands of years old, yet its purpose remains a tantalizing puzzle. Was it an astronomical site, a ritual place, or a hub of ancient trade routes? The Amazon, with its diverse cultures and ecosystems, seems an unlikely place for such a discovery. Nevertheless, the Amazon Stonehenge challenges our understanding of the ancient world and makes us rethink the achievements of past civilizations hidden deep within this impenetrable jungle. As scientists and adventurers unite to unveil the secrets of the Amazon Stonehenge, the rainforest holds silent witness to a long-concealed past. The Stonehenge of the Amazon calls to those daring enough to reveal its cryptic tale. South Africa, the mysterious 300,000 years old lost city. In the remote wilderness, about 150 kilometers west of Port Maputo in South Africa, there lies a forgotten marvel. An ancient metropolis sprawling across a mind-boggling 1,500 square kilometers. This is no ordinary city. It's shrouded in mysteries that stretch back an astonishing 160,000 to 200,000 years. To put that in perspective, we're talking about a civilization older than the Great Pyramids of Egypt, a civilization that has somehow evaded the annals of history. These colossal stone remnants, which once formed part of an even grander civilization, encompassing an estimated 10,000 square kilometers, remained hidden from the world, known only to local farmers who believed these stone circles were crafted by their indigenous ancestors. But destiny had different plans for this hidden treasure. Enter Michael Tellinger, a daring researcher, and Johann Heine, a local firefighter and pilot with an eye for the extraordinary. For years, Heine had watched these enigmatic structures from the air, sensing their historical significance. Their partnership led to astonishing discoveries. Tellinger exclaimed, The photographs, artifacts, and evidence we accumulated all point towards a lost civilization that predates all others. 
not by just a few hundred years or a few thousand, but many thousands of years. This revelation shakes the very foundations of human history. It challenges the prevailing belief that South Africa was not home to any significant ancient civilization, with grand empires like Sumeria and Egypt stealing the spotlight. Tellinger's research dares us to reconsider the entire timeline of human history. Dan Eden from VZone offers a thrilling interpretation. I would suggest that the Sumerian story was given as a base metaphor for actual ancient cataclysms that caused the diminished planetary resonance and a spiritual injury to the psychoacoustic field of human consciousness. He sees Sumerian mythology as a coded message a metaphor for ancient catastrophes that shook the core of human existence. In a nutshell, the ancient metropolis near Port Maputo, South Africa, with its sprawling stone circles spanning 1,500 square kilometers, is an archaeological riddle that defies time and logic. It's a mystery that keeps researchers on the edge of their seats, ready to rewrite the history books. The stage is set for a grand re-evaluation of human history, and the world eagerly watches as the secrets of this ancient enigma slowly unravel. Ireland, the stone circles of Beegmore. Seven stone circles, each unique, scattered across the lush green landscape. These aren't just randomly placed stones. They are meticulously arranged in intriguing patterns, offering a puzzle that's intrigued historians, archeologists, and visitors alike. The Beegmore stone circles date back to the Neolithic and Bronze Ages, making them over 4,000 years old. That's like having a conversation with people who lived in a time when the pyramids of Egypt were still being built. Some of the stones are aligned with celestial events, suggesting that these circles might have been a bit like ancient observatories. It was something like a cosmic calendar, when they used it to track the sun, moon, and stars for purposes we're still trying to understand. As you wander among these ancient stones, you can't help but feel a connection to the past. What stories do they hold? Were they gathering places for celebrations or centers of spiritual ceremonies? Greece, the Antikythera mechanism. Back in 1901, a group of sponge divers made an incredible find while exploring a sunken ship near a Greek island. They were 45 meters underwater, and what they discovered was like a time capsule from the past filled with bronze and marble statues, shiny jewels, and old coins. These items took them back to the days of the Greek and Roman empires. But among all these treasures, the most amazing thing they found was the Antikythera mechanism. It might not sound very exciting, but it's like an ancient computer, possibly the first one ever made. All the cool stuff they found was sent to a museum in Athens for safekeeping and study. But the Antikythera mechanism wasn't immediately recognized for what it was. It looked like a lump of rusty metal and wood, and for two whole years, the museum staff were more interested in shiny statues than this strange thing. Then, in May 1902, a clever archeologist made a mind-blowing discovery. Hidden in a piece of rock was a strange wheel with teeth. At first, he thought it was some kind of ancient clock, which was a big surprise because it shouldn't have existed in Roman times. This was a mystery that no one saw coming. Fast forward to 2008, and technology had improved a lot. A team of scientists and researchers brought a massive X-ray machine to the Greek Museum where the mechanism was kept. With it, they could see faint writings on the mechanism's surface. What those writings revealed was truly amazing. The Antikythera mechanism turned out to be a super-advanced ancient time-telling device with lots of little gears. It was designed to follow how the moon and the sun move through the sky, predict eclipses, and even show the moon's weird path, where it goes faster when it's close to Earth and slower when it's far away. So how old is this amazing device? Scientists think it was made between 200 and 100 BC. It's mind-boggling to think that people thousands of years ago could create something so advanced. India, the Harappan civilization. One of the lost civilizations, which is believed to be older than the Egyptian civilization. The Harappan civilization thrived around 3,300, 1300 BCE. We still do not know much about the civilization because their language remains undeciphered. Then what we know about the Harappan civilization. The Harappans had a very advanced engineering technique that can be easily seen by their brick construction system. Their buildings were built using standardized kiln-fired bricks, 
in addition, for the draining systems they had. They also had great bath. The researchers believe it was used for ritualistic or religious purposes. The decline of the civilization is still unknown. Theories say that it was due to environmental changes, especially that the civilization was built near the rivers, so it's highly possible that the river's shifts affected the civilization. Until that day, the secrets of their civilizations are still uncovered. Mexico, the Maya civilization. If you think that the only pyramids in the world are in Egypt, you are wrong. The Maya civilization is one of the civilizations that had pyramids. In the heart of the lush Mesoamerican rainforests, the Maya civilization flourished with grand cities, soaring pyramids, and a calendar so precise it could schedule your lunch break. Yet, even the mighty Maya couldn't escape the grip of destiny's whims. The Maya, once rulers of the jungle, faced an unexpected villain climate change. Droughts turned their once lush lands into a cinematic wasteland, challenging their agricultural prowess. It was the ultimate plot twist, as the Maya realized that even the most advanced calendars couldn't predict Mother Nature's curveballs. As city-states engaged in a heated sibling rivalry, the harmony of the rainforest symphony turned into a cacophony of chaos. Imagine rival rulers arguing over who had the fancier temple or the more sacred sea note. But wait, there's more. Trade routes, once bustling with precious jade and obsidian, crumbled like a poorly constructed building. The Maya, facing an economic recession, could no longer indulge in their favorite obsidian-encrusted popcorn. And so, the grand finale unfolded. A civilization brought to its knees not by an asteroid or alien invasion, but by a culmination of unforeseen twists. The Maya civilization, once the star of the show, took its final bow, leaving behind a mystery that would puzzle archeologists for centuries. Peru, the Nazca Lines. In 1927, a Peruvian archeologist discovered the Nazca Lines. Local people were aware of them, but probably they haven't known how big they are. In 1930s, pilots flying over the lines reported seeing the large figures. To make it clear how big they are, some of them are as big as a baseball yard. Since then, the archeologists started paying attention and looking into those weird and huge shapes. Some of the shapes illustrate plants or animals but some others shape creatures like humans. The Nazca Lines were probably built somewhere between 200 BCE and 600 CE. Many theories came out about the lines. The scientific ones referred it to be underground water sources map, or communication with gods. Of course, theories about aliens came out. What really made people thousands of years ago spend time and effort doing such huge figures? And how were they able to do such a thing in such a detailed way. We must mention that those lines are not the only. There are similar figures were found in USA and England. How people from different times and different civilizations had the same idea of making such a thing. All those questions are still unanswered, even with the technology we're reached today. Many other discoveries are still mysterious till that day. Subscribe because we are going to uncover those mysterious discoveries and more amazing video on Discover the top 15 mysterious ancient ruins in Africa that scare scientists.